shot now but uh, oh you mean one of those things that, yes uh, yes just to set the, know, yes, the scene exactly. that we're talking here in the majestic theater having a good time now you're coming back then on the 30th no, no. no. not oh you're not so you will not be back the 30th or 31st no but I okay i think that right. if we can to come no i won't Jeez, i just won't no. get into <laughs> that no, just, it's yeah. just that i can't keep that secret between oh, okay. ourselves all right because I, i'm stopping off yeah. the event and then I will, of course, be adding uh, commentary with a lot of the nitty-gritty as far as the ticket. Okay, you ready to start? Okay. All right, Mr. Mason, first of all, I want to welcome you to Dallas because the last time we talked was in New York during the verdict. And uh, so it's nice for me to have the opportunity to welcome you to my city. So. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I remember meeting you there in that little room, you know, yes. the, the row of little cubby holes where yes. we all lined up. Yes. This project, I've been following it now for some little time, of putting as much of that original footage back into A Star is Born. But some people might ask, Mr. Mason, why they've gone through this laborious process to try to put the 27 minutes back in. Well, there's a growing feeling, uh, not only in this country, but elsewhere in the world, but let's settle on this country, <clears throat> that the Can old Steve? films and some of the old films are really valuable things, something which should be preserved and restored, you know, treated like old masterpieces or treated like first editions or whatever you like to call it. I am... Scene, please. Oh, come to the video. Uh, that's by counsel, to be confronted by the witnesses that testify against you, to a public and speedy trial by the court or by a jury, and the right to be admitted to bail. Do you understand that? Yes. William Gregory, plain drunk, picked up at Fifth and Town, asleep in the gutter. Fourteen similar offenses in the past six months. How do you plead? I don't feel so good. I didn't ask you how you feel. I said, how do you plead? Guilty, I guess. When did you get out the last time? Just before Christmas. Well, I'm sorry you'll have to miss New Year's, but you'll be out in time for Washington's birthday. Sixty days. Ernest Gubbins. Gubbins. Drunk and disorderly. Crashed car into tree at sunset in Coronado. Evidently been drinking for days. Resisted arrest and injured one of the arresting officers. How do you plead? Excuse me. Were you Norman Bain? You've come pretty low, haven't you? There isn't a man here that's had the advantages you've had, and look what you've done with them. You're nothing but an irresponsible. 
irresponsible drunk driving around the streets with the power to inflict death and injury on innocent people. I think we'd better deny you that power for a while. 90 days in the city jail. I'm Miss Wise. I recognize you, Miss Lester. Please. Judge, I promise this will never, never happen again. Good. I'll be responsible.